But after I read this story, I feel, oh my God, so tiring, you know? Yes, yes Master. Master. Even the Buddha uh, reincarnated again and again as this and that animal and then had to kill to eat and all that. And then came back again. Even, even the Buddha wanted to come down and help beings. He had to swim in the river of life and death forever like that in different forms in order to make affinity with as many beings as he could, yeah? And thus I feel, my God, what a tiring kind of life. Yeah. I don't want us to ever come back and, and fought and become this and that again. I want to finish with all this. Yes. That's why in India, mostly they revere the guru very much, the master who gives them initiation and frees their souls. They even sing songs like, uh, only my guru is for me. God has thrown me into this uh, whirlwind existence, and only my master can pull me out of it, something like that. They even revere, kind of, almost hinting like, the guru is even better than God. That's why it is. And now, when I read this story, I understand why. Even though they are not Jewish in India, Hindu or Muslim, but, but they understood this, huh? Mm, yeah. Yeah. What does God do? Throw us in here and to, to fence with tigers and demons and what not, huh? Mm. <sighs> and fight for survival. What for? I did not ask to be born here. Did you? Any of you asked to be born here? No, no, Yes or no? No, no sir. How come you <laughs> so quiet? I thought. <laughs> we don't. Why, why were you so quiet? Huh? We don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose you remember, would you have asked? I don't know. No. Would you imagine you would have asked go into this world like this? No. No, no, Master. I'm telling you, it's hell. When I see how they torture the animals and torture humans, oh, it's terrible. And then they come back and kill each other again to revenge, yeah? In Armenia, recently, we have war there, right? Remember? Yes, yes Master. Yes. But small one at the border for a piece of land. And many moved out already, but maybe some are old, they cannot move, yeah? Or some didn't have anywhere to go. Even soldiers, they don't know where to go. Even if they are soldiers, but they don't have a home everywhere. The region that has been fought uh, with uh, Azerbaijan, that was their home. And so they linger around, and then they just uh, fought them again, or capture them, and imprison them, and some even cut their throats. An old, old man, you know, it was on TV, it was on video, it was terrible. It's similar to the way the, the butcher in the slaughterhouse would cut the throat of one of the animals inside. Oh my God, he, he was calling God all this time until his throat was cut. He struggled, he kept calling, he got God, you know, Allahu Akbar, all this time until he could call no more. And they still cut his throat. An old man, old and weak man, the soldier did this. Or maybe they wanted to frighten everyone else just to move out of there, you know? Or they just ethnic cleanse. This is really hell. It's truly hell. In many places on our planet, it's still hell, I'm telling you. How could a human do that to another human? Alive and kicking human, an old man like that, defenseless, in front of his house. He had no nobody else, only him alone. I guess that's why he didn't know where to go. It's not that easy to move. Yes. Yes, yes. And after you're old already and you live in one place all your life, where would you go? Huh? Go somewhere, become a beggar, begging for some morsel of food? And then and, and lower your dignity like that. The refugees, they don't want to leave. No, no, no one. I mean, most people who are refugees, they did not want to leave their land. It's just because of the war, you know, and some terrifying bombing or, or killing that they had to run. They run with their bare hands. They had nothing and didn't know where to go. You saw some documentaries on TV. 
few years ago when uh, many refugees ran to Europe, yeah? Yes. yes. They really have no baggage, nothing even. They just walk because some countries didn't want them to pass, didn't let them go on train and buses. They just walk then. They walk to Germany, remember last time? Yes. But a few years ago, because this world is truly hell. In many parts of the world, it's still hell. So even if I'm working very hard, I always remember all this, and I'm always very grateful for whatever I have, for what kind of life that I can maintain. I'm truly very lucky already, no matter how hard I work. Of course, it would be better if I didn't have to work so hard that I can contemplate more inside. It's also better for the world, but I cannot... One body cannot do too many things, so I just have to balance it out and do what I can. But I'm always grateful, every day, every for every little thing, for clean water to drink, because I know millions don't have clean water. They drink whatever, and then they get sick, and they don't even have medicine to take care of themselves. Don't even have a doctor, don't even have anything. And children... On the refugee camp, when they first came, they walked bare feet on the snow. And they don't even have a room like we have. They have just some plastic sheet on top and just uh, one or two walls, not completely closed, just just like your garage without a door, empty like that. And they, they stay in there, they walk bare feet on the snow like that. But in Germany before, also some decades ago, when they had the war, yeah, many... Buildings were destroyed. Many people had nothing to eat, and children went bare feet like that. Not just for one day, two days. They went to school like that, or went to uh, buy something, or get some wood, went bare feet like that. I saw some documentary film a long time ago. Even within their own race of beings, they kill each other and punish until that point. Until, su- until such an extent that children, innocent children, had to suffer. No food, no drink, and then had to walk bare feet on the snow. You stay in a warm weather, and you still need to wear pullover and hat and jacket, right? What not? Imagine in Germany. It's very cold in winter. It's warm a little bit for two, two three months. In summer, of course, it's similar to England or or somewhere like in Washington, D.C. or something. But Germany is more uh, to the, you know, to the North Pole. It's colder than America, eh? Yes. Always cold uh, in winter. I remember in, when I was in Germany, we were driving on the road, highway or uh, national road. There was snow everywhere because they have big fields, though, big... Uh, uh, Big, big land left empty in winter, so we can see up to the horizon, only white, only white, and nothing else. And then the 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 cloud was very low, also. So you feel sometimes I try to forget it, otherwise I felt like trapped. I felt very really suffocating, like claustrophobic. Oh, it's white, 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 and on top the cloud is also white. I mean, not white, white, but like gray, white. And it's like pressing down on you. And the snow is just like so very cold and unfriendly. Yeah. And you can go hundreds of miles like that, seeing nothing except snow everywhere. And it can be very depressing, you know. Feel very pressurized. I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What story, New Year, I tell you about ghosts and <laughs> cold climate and the God who <laughs> creates such and such, yeah? Yeah, nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but most of these stories, even then, is good for us to reflect, yes, yes. to contemplate that truly there's nothing here for us. Huh? Even God has thrown us down here to the walls. That's what I say, no? Yes. <laughs> yes. 
throw you to the wolves? Yes, yes master. master. Yes, master. Yeah, like uh, helpless here. We are really like that, almost. Huh? The moment you are born, you already are attacked by all kinds of free radicals. And the baby is just helpless. It's like thousands of needles pinching on his skin, tender skin, because he was protected inside with the lubricating and fluid and all that, and warm. Suddenly he came out. It's a different world. And his skin was still tender. All the organs, every part of him or her is still very tender, tender, super tender. And he has to bear this world with all kinds kind of pollution. Eh? All right, my love. If you have any questions, be quick. <laughs> No? no, nothing. Master. Nothing asking about this, about the God. This is not a higher God, okay? Yes, Master. Yes. Master. You can tell very well, okay? Huh? Yes, Master. What kind of God throw his own creation against each other like that? And even with the lubricant in the form of these four guardians of the world, they still kill each other. It just minimized the damage or the killing, the murdering only, yeah, but not completely. You see that? Yes. yes. Huh? So God's really thrown us down here to the wolves. Yeah, and wood too, if you don't worship or praise Him. Now you have a master, you don't have to. <laughs> uh, but don't offend Him. Nah? Don't offend Him. He will uh, give strength to these four guardians and then... <laughs> <laughs> they might blow you to somewhere worse. Mm. Okay, my love. Yeah, I guess I'm not very uh, lively today. Yeah. The story didn't help either. I also don't want to disturb or offend the God. <laughs> Otherwise, I would give him some, <clears throat> some peace of my mind. <laughs> Maybe next time, when I'm very angry. <laughs> And I will not mince my words. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm not very angry today. Otherwise, I could have done that. But many times when I'm alone even, I'm very angry with God for creating so much suffering. And we even have to thank Him. For what? Huh? Understand? Yes, yes Master. Master. I hope you sleep well and don't feel too tired. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Master. It's good that you're listening because it's easier for me this way. And I do want to work. It's just how do I work with the disciples outside? They only gather like weekends or some holidays, and I don't remember what day is holiday even. And if arranging like this, it's also very good. I don't have to go out and nobody has to come to my area. Yes, yes master. master. And very little work, because I normally sometimes, if I want to lecture or something, I have to ask this and that, and oh, it takes many hours to arrange. And for this even, I've been asking since at least, since at least one, two years. I keep telling one person to another, and, and whoever said, please arrange one room so that whenever I want to talk, to you guys, it doesn't take too long. Uh, nothing done. I've seen again and again and again. And then I work and I forgot also, and they work and they forgot also. At least two years I'm thinking of this. See, whatever I can do. Mm -hmm. It's not only for you, but uh, we we will air it and then people will listen. Yes, yes master. master. And it's good for them, yeah? Okay? Yes. yes. To remember things, to remember to go inward to remember why we have to have liberation, because this world, sooner or later, it will be uh, demolished, will disappear, okay, disintegrated, just like every element that makes up this world and makes up our body, or like a car, or like even a big tree, one day it will also be disintegrated. Yeah, because that's the nature of this world, okay? Mm. The God who created it, created it that way. As if this uh, world is not uh, frightening and suffering enough, He had to create all kinds of things like that to frighten children. 
<laughs> no, children and women <laughs> like me. Okay. All right, hey? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Love 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 you. Love